Hi guys, it's Mrs. Stewart. I hope you're doing well. Um, I just wanted to uh, make a video for you. I'm home uh, sick, but I will be in in a few days. So I just wanted to show you how to go into um, code.org and how to get started. So what we're learning about today is we are learning how to make a computer um, do something for you. It's called coding. So you're learning by moving different blocks to tell the computer to do something. Kind of like if you had a robot and you wanted the robot to move across the room and go in a certain order for teaching sequence, which is the order that something happens in. So it's like making a peanut butter and jelly sandwich, right? You want to first get out the bread and the peanut butter and the jelly. Then you get out the knife, then you spread the peanut butter, then you spread the jelly, then you put it together, then you eat it. So if I said um, to make a peanut butter and jelly sandwich, first you eat it. No, that's not the right order. So it's the same in computers. We have to tell the computer exactly what to do first, second, third, fourth. And this is called sequence. It's when you put something in the right order. So um, you're going to go to code.org, and if you just search code.org in a new window, or you can also go to your Google Classroom, and to sign in, you click on the red Continue with Google. <clears throat> and then you click on your, <coughs> excuse me, you click on your, um, name with your email. That's your Google email at nhps.net. And that should sign you in. And then you're going to go to the um, Angry Birds and start with number one. So, <coughs> excuse me, I'll show you how that goes. Excuse me. So when you get in here, you are going to see, let's see, you guys are on course C. It's going to look like this. Sorry, it takes a minute for me to show you. Um, so. You're going to see numbers and you're going to click on the number one. And the very first thing you're going to do is watch a video. And the video explains to you um, how to connect the blocks together to make a um, to make the angry bird move. So what you want in this in this game that you're playing today where you're learning how to code is you want to get the angry bird to move over to the pig but he has to do it the right way so you have to count the number of steps that he has to do you have to figure out does he turn left or right so you're going to take him through a maze to catch the pig so i will show you how that goes so if you click on um the second lesson after you watch the video you click the orange continue and it will look something like this oops okay when you get there it's going to look like this you'll see up here you're on lesson three programming with angry birds and we're on number two of this lesson okay and in this lesson i see up here is the directions it says um you can click on it and it will read it for you. It says, for this puzzle, drag all of the blocks together and click run to watch it go. I click the arrow to go back. So I look here and I see my angry bird. Angry bird has to move one, two steps. Um, and the way I do that, it says connect all the blocks and then press run to start your program. So here are the blocks. And I have to connect them to the orange when run. So I move this forward and now I'm having the angry bird move once. And then I put this one there and he's gonna move two times. And that's what I counted. He's gonna move one block and the second block, he's gonna hit 
the Angry Bird. So once I get those connected together, then I click Run. And see, he goes and he gets it. Yay, Angry Birds. And then here it says, congratulations, you, you finished puzzle two. Now we keep going. Continue the orange button and it takes us to puzzle three. And each puzzle you need to drag the right blocks over exactly how the Angry Bird needs to move. So the second one looks like this when you get there. You have them separated and it says drag an extra move forward block to the toolbox to finish your code. So now we have a new puzzle and in this puzzle Angry Bird has to travel one, two, three. He has to move forward three times. So this is as if you're Angry Bird. So to us it looks like he's going right but if you're Angry Bird you see where his face is facing. He's facing towards the pig. So to Angry Bird he needs to move forward one, and see how it connects together. If it doesn't connect, it won't work. Two, and then I move forward another one, three. Okay, and I click run. All right, now we're going to continue. And um, I'm gonna take you to level five so you can see what that looks like and we will solve that together. So you're going to work with a partner today and as you come to each level, it may be challenging and that's why you have a partner. So you, you um, right here, we read what it says. It says, trace the path and lead me to the silly pig. Avoid the TNT or feathers will fly. So this is TNT. That's like a bomb. So we want to make sure that he doesn't run into that TNT. So we got to be really careful here because if he goes too far, he's going to hit it. So um, I talk to my partner. I say, okay, partner, we're on level five. And what do you think is the first thing Angry Bird should do? So I'm looking at Angry Bird and I ask my partner and together we decide, I think he should move forward. So we're going to put it on and attach it. And then we're going to try it out. So I click run and he moves forward. Yes, that's the right thing. Good. So now I see where he is and I see if I go forward again, he's going to hit the bomb. I don't want to do that. So I think he, we have to turn him. But which way do we turn? So we talk to my partner. Which way do you think we should turn, left or right? My partner says left. I'm like, okay, I'm not sure left or right because I'm not great with left and right. But so we're going to try it and we're going to see what happens. So we drag out left and we're going to try it. I click run and he goes forward and then he looks left. Oh no, that's not the way. Oh, that's okay. No big deal. So I know that it's okay. We tried, but it wasn't the right one. So we just click on this little um, arrow right here and we can turn it to right. So he's going to turn right there. And let's just make sure that's right. So we run it one more time. Okay, thanks partner, we're doing good together. All right, so partner, now I see where he's facing. He's facing down. So it looks like, what does he need to do next? What do you think? And you think move forward? Okay, so we're gonna try it, move forward. And we try it. And we go step by step with our partners um, to see what happens first and second and third and fourth. So move forward. Yes, that's the right thing. So should he turn left or right? Hmm, I'm not sure. Well, I'm going to try turning left. Let's just try it. And oops, I moved that around. That's the wrong spot. So I'm going to drag it off, put that back. See if I put it out of order. If I put the turn left first, then it wouldn't go right. So let's try it. So we go take a right go forward, take a left. Oh yes, he's almost there. We have one more thing to add. What do you think partner? What should we add? Yes, move forward. Okay, let's try it. So we try it again. Okay, so do you see how with your partner, whenever you get stuck, just erase everything and with you and your partner discuss step by step how to get through each one. Thanks partner, I appreciate all your help. And make sure you thank whoever helps you, okay? Um, at the end of class, I want you to write down in your journal one thing that you your partner helped you with or something you helped 
your partner with, okay? Because the main job in this class is to work with your partner and to help each other. And if your partner can't help you, you can ask someone else in the class for help before you ask the teacher, okay? Good luck.